Hi guys, so if you ever wonder why it may take me a little bit longer to get a certain video out and I know you guys seen like the Christmas tree already done in some videos and some other decor things, this is why. <laughs> and this is a light version. Sometimes I can't even walk in here. But he has a TV in his room now, but he likes to stay down here, which is understandable. And so, this is one of the reasons why. So, I want to encourage you guys that don't compare your life to other people. Don't compare your channel to other people. And just do you. This is certainly a light version of what it looks like. I know my mom is like a green but don't compare your life to anyone else. Hello Hopefuls and thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I want to share with you our holiday Christmas living room tour for this year of 2018. I hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified of any new videos that come out from me. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll first start off with our Christmas tree this year and I like how it turned out. I really like the buffalo check, the little red car, and um, the red and black and the white and black. So I couldn't really pick and choose which one I wanted the most. So I just went ahead and used both. Why not? And so of course as you see it's more of a rustic farmhouse theme and most of the decorations came either from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, some of them I had from years before, some of them were from Walmart a few and a few from Michaels. It's best to shop early for your holiday decor or if you want to as well take advantage of those sales after Christmas for your next year decor if you want to switch up. But this is one, for example, that came from Dollar Tree and this from Dollar General. And then I think Dollar Tree has these this year, but this was from last year. And then I incorporated some larger bulbs, ornaments, <laughs> from Walmart. And I think this one actually may have came from the Dollar Tree. So the large one here from Walmart. This is also a dollar general ornament here and then my topper guys i got it from kirkland's last year and it was on sale and i thought well that'd be cute so if you've seen my tour last year this was actually in my dining room on this smaller tree here i didn't mean to have two trees what happened was my dining room was already decorated for the fall and i wanted to go ahead and put my decorations up so I won't have to worry about them all the way through mid-December and um, enjoy them. So that's why, and plus the flock trees can be messy, so I didn't want to keep moving it, so that's why I end up with two trees. Here are some more ornaments that came from Dollar Tree from previous years, and I just set this in here. If you notice, it doesn't even have a burlap um, string coming from it so it can hang it's just sitting right in here because I used this on my tablescape last year and then my ribbon actually came from Amazon some of it came from Dollar General I believe but most of it came from Amazon and that's another thing that you know if you have a certain thing that you like 
go ahead and either get it after season or get it before everyone else does because these everyone I guess they couldn't find it at the stores which I couldn't find any Harley no Buffalo check at the store surprisingly so I just went on Amazon and found it that way I like these little antlers and I place them throughout the tree and then uh, what I also do with my tree because I didn't want to invest in a brand new tree because my tree is perfectly good it is a little messy but if you follow me on Instagram I had like an insta story where I shared I did that faux snow so it is a little messy but it saved me money as well of the tree came from Walmart and that's the cheapest that I've seen they may have had them cheaper with a combined with another sale but they also had them in like the galvanized um, tin as well but I wanted the red so I think it was like 14 to 16 dollars and then I used a old skirt over there for that tree and I just turned it over it's actually like more of a whimsical blue color so I just flipped it over because I knew it was red on that side I did an entire video on my mantle so I'm just gonna do a quick pan over of it and I will make sure I link that video if you want to see that Then moving along over here, I just have like some pillows, the everyday pillows, out and some blankets. And if you want to know, these pillows came from Walmart. I had this one from, I think the Target one spot a couple years ago. Gosh, I can't even remember. Or it may came from Walmart. I think it may came from Walmart. This one here was from the Target one spot years ago. And then this blanket from Big Lot. So I like these blankets. I have one in white upstairs. They're really cozy and warm. Over here I have an old console table that I chalk painted. It gray. It used to be brown. It was a table my mom had growing up and um, I talked about that in another video home tour. But what I did was I simply added a scarf which this scarf came from the Dollar Tree and then I have um, a jingle all the way sign that I just propped up there against the lamp and the little topiary from Target and then this little votive candle holder from Dollar Tree then I have my favorite candlesticks that I did a chalk paint DIY with and these pillar candles come from the Dollar Tree. I really like them. I don't keep them on all the time if I have company or for like this video or if it's Christmas Day or something like that. Just so the battery can last a little bit longer. And then I have some greenery here. This greenery I actually used in the centerpiece last year for my dining room table. And so I just tucked it over here. So this is separate from these two here from the Ponsetta. So if you've been watching my channel for some time, you've seen these over and over again, usually in the living room or on the dining room table. These are from Home Interiors and Gifts and they're great quality. They last for like, it's been 10 years and they're still holding on and they're still pretty. They do need um, some little touch of hot glue, but they're still holding on. Over here, if I don't get too much of a glare, I finally framed, well, I framed the boys' pictures before, but I thought this was a great place to put them, 
and above this picture here and below. And when we got these pictures done, I can't think of the name of the company, but they have, they're probably nationwide. And they are a little dark. I even noticed it. I think my mom noticed it first. Um, the pictures themselves are a little dark because they give you your pictures before you even leave. They develop them. And I just thought they were a really great addition to this wall. They're Christmas pictures. And they certainly need new pictures because they have gotten so much bigger than this. Over here on the entertainment center, I just placed a lantern here and a little sleigh that came from the Target One Spot. The lantern was from Aldi from last year, I believe, or a couple years ago. And then I just hot glue one of these little words, chipboard words, that came from in like a pack of them from the Target One Spot. This little tree, I think this was one of my favorite trees from the Target One spot. Mama and I were talking about how each year they get a little bit different, but that was one of the favorites. This is one of those little berries that fell off <laughs> this little piece. So I just stuck it there. And then home for the holidays, I was searching high and low for this little sign. And it's prop probably up with a candle behind it from... Dollar Tree. They had these little red cars last year from the Target One Spot. And these poncettas, I'm sure, are from Dollar Tree. And the little holder there, the little vase holder, Hurricane, is from the Target One Spot. I really like this flock garland, and I got this last year from Walmart and I didn't do anything too fancy up there I just added like a couple of pics from the Dollar Tree and um, I think it's some garland that was already interweaved from let's see if I can get closer from the Target one spot on last year on this side of the entertainment center I just have the little framed house that came from the Target one spot this year and these little bottle brush trees. I can't remember if these came from Dollar Tree or from Target. And then just a little piece of greenery there. And then I gave the sign some height from the Target one spot. Then down below is a picture. Then down below, a picture of my grandparents. And then here is a little decor piece from Target. I'm sorry from Dollar Tree. <laughs> I know you guys screaming through the screaming through the TV. That's Dollar Tree. And this is from the Target One Spot. And then over here is another little tree. I think this was the first year that I noticed or started shopping at the Target One Spot, this little tree. So you can tell it's like certainly different from the other. And then this little cute little red truck. And it's a countdown to Christmas and Josiah does pretty good with um, changing the dates. So I'll tell him to flip it or back or not, but I don't think it's correct today. Sometimes he does play with it, and that came from Dollar General. Over here, I have our bookcase and also the centerpiece. And I did get a question or a request to do the centerpiece. I got this quarrel from Joanne's or michaels i want to say michaels michaels i got it from michaels yeah it was like the last one i wanted one more and then over here i just have like a little present with nothing in it from dollar tree this little dollar tree decor piece i had the little sleigh from target one spot i think this year they had some last year i think with the red bottom but i think i have that somewhere else a little poncetta from michaels Put some ornaments in here and this is actually a bottle holder like if you're giving it for a gift or to a hostess and I just stuffed that I think with shopping bags from Tarte from Dollar Tree <laughs> and then I wanted this little Christmas tree I thought it was cute 
when they first started putting out all the items at Michael's and that stuff, I know when my store went really fast, they had these in two different sizes and I got the largest size because I knew I could put it here. But this would have been great to get two of these or maybe four, two of the large ones, two of the small ones to put on either side of your mantle. Then I have this Joy that came from last year from the Target One spot. And then that's us. And I certainly need, all of us need a new picture. Jason probably is the only one that looks the same. <laughs> and then over here, the little bells I thought were super cute from Michaels this year. Over here on my sofa, these are actually pillow covers and I got them from Amazon. So that was a really good investment instead of just buying new pillows and having to store them. This worked out really well. I had the perfect number for each one to stuff. And I'll see if I can find the links. They may not be available right now, but they may be later. And yeah, they're really good quality pillowcases and I really love them they're really pretty really pretty over here on the table I have like the little village that came from the Dollar Tree and I had to straighten it up Josiah I put it down low so Josiah can play with it he does understand um, that I wanted it to stay on this tray because there are little small pieces. And I actually forgot to turn on the little, I put a little tea light in here from Dollar Tree. And they just glow just a little bit. But Saya might have actually, he did. He left them on. So they needed to be replaced. And I wanted to show you guys, but I didn't realize he left them on one day. But it's okay. And I actually was able to find everything. I didn't order mine on the website. I was able to find everything from the store. Different stores, but at the store. And that church is certainly too close. But I put it on a little tray so it can all fit here. And then I just put like a pick from Dollar Tree. And then this little A have, what's that? I can't see have a merry little christmas bike this came from um target one spot last year and then i just have some books down here for side side to read and i need to take him to the library to get some more christmas books but these came from dollar general and over here on my love seat over here and then we're going to move right on along over here to my breakfast nook area. And then I'll do a separate video for the kitchen. But over here, what I did was I, let's start with the runner. I got a Buffalo check runner, black and white. And this came from Amazon as well. And here are these placements that I hauled in that Dollar General haul. And I was looking everywhere for these. Well, I was hunting different ones for one more. Super cute. And actually, I am missing a little Santa hat. I got plenty, but little Santa hat on the back of the chairs. I'm missing two. We had company. We had to rearrange everything. So that's probably why some stuff is like over here is out of order. And then I got my little cushions here. And somebody untied it for the chairs. And then in the centerpiece, let's see, let me go back around. I actually had this on the table at first, and then I decided to just nestle this in a tray because I had one. And so I got this little faux snow from Target, and it was like $4.00. And I love this little deer. I actually was going to use this on my mantle, but I didn't get another one. And she was like $12 that might have been with coupons at Big Lots. And then here's the sleigh from last year from the Target One Spot. And these little faux logs that came from Michael's. 
and then I just threw these ornaments on because they were like on the floor in here but I've used them in the sleigh before or on a reef so <laughs> so they don't have like uh they don't have a hook or well they have a hook but I use hot glue on them so I just stuck them in there and then here is the new tree this year from the Target one spot over here where we house our mail I just have a lantern that I got from and actually it's being I need to fix that from Walmart and then just like another ornament and then I have these matches and stuff back here lighters for my candles and right now I'm burning tis the season from Bath and Body Works and Huntington home holiday holiday at home and this one is from Aldi so I think it was like $4.99 for this one and then the little green truck I think this was from yeah it was from the fall this year I just set a little acorn in it a pick Saya soccer trophy and then trails diploma right there and then I have my bow that I did that bow video on right here because I was going to wrap this with craft paper and everything but I decided not to do that and then I just had this up here for like a buffet light but actually um, when Jason's friends came over but actually I had like the little white houses and galvanized houses up here recently and um, I'm just gonna keep them in the entryway so the flock garland again is from Walmart and then this buffalo check ribbon was from Michaels last year and then this Merry Christmas ribbon actually came from from Big Lots guys I want to say another store had this this year too but it might have been just Big Lots here are some ornaments from Sasa we worked on these yesterday and we need to go ahead and hang them up on the tree but all of these items came from Dollar tree maybe some of the stickers might from the target one spot i think these stickers this washi from dollar tree these stickers yeah from target but most of them all the items are from dollar tree even the little faux snow on the inside he has a couple more projects i want to work on with him with crafts and I think one I really forgot about was the snowflakes because I remember my grandma, she taught me how to do those, but I forgot. So I had to kind of do a refresher. So up here, I love this sign. It came from Michael's. I wanted this when they first put out the items this year. Have yourself a Merry Christmas, little Christmas. And it's really easy to put up with that one little hook and take it down. Then in the back from Dollar General, these little $5 trees that they had that went super fast. And I love these Buffalo Chick little deer. The little small ones went really fast, so I couldn't find any of those because I wanted a small one and a big one. But I ended up just getting the big one. And then I did this little arrangement. It was a good sale on the greenery. I think it was like 60 or 70% off. And this I think came out really well. The two picks here with the flowers are from Dollar Tree. And then all of the other greenery with the shimmer came from Michaels. The container itself came from Michaels, which I thought was super cute. And these little berries here. This little white stuff that I try to make it look like snow is actually a car cleaner from the Dollar Tree and I picked up several of them years maybe two years ago and I thought I would throw it up here it was before I had the other faux snow and just tuck the ends under to make it look like snow and then up here I put let's see try not to get a glare Cottrell over the years if you've seen that haul recently from Big Lots well not recently but my child broke my beautiful thrifted nativity set so I didn't have one anymore so I got this one from Big Lots and it was like I don't remember I want to say $12 guys or $15 and it plays and lights up so 
yeah it's super cute if you guys can see and it plays silent night and it plays another one i can't remember which one let's see oh yeah way in the manger I like that and then over here I made a little station for them to be able to find the tags wrapping paper I didn't make it all lat I shouldn't say lavish I didn't make it all large like I made another video a while ago where it was on this back wall here and it was like a table and I had all the wrapping paper all the boxes and stuff I'll make sure I find that and link that below but they're just boxes, some felt envelopes if somebody wants to use them for something, some tags, some money gift card holders, a lot of the things I had already last year, some tape, I have more tape upstairs, some cards, I need to open those up and get those addressed out, and then here's some gift boxes here from the Target One Spot, some of them I use from Dollar Tree I'm sorry some of them I use for decor purposes and some of them I just have in case someone needs some here's some gift boxes here and some gift bags and then some tissue paper I have a little bit here but I need more and then with this way you know what you have and what you need to go back and buy and then I have some wrapping paper here with the little red truck with the buffalo check and the craft paper and I was going to do the all little faux gift boxes and stuff. Behind the couch over here, I just have like a lot of pictures. I want to put some more pictures of the family and get them out of boxes or out of um, bags or whatever. I may have them in in tubs and have them out. And then I just have these candlestick holders with some ornaments in them. And then a pick from Dollar Tree and a little gift box. And then lastly, lastly over here I have this frame window pane like wreath that I got from Big Lots that was on this console table that I really like. And then I just have like some sprigs and you just overlap your sprigs. Those are the same ones that you saw earlier. And then these little picks here from Michaels, they have them last year and this year another little gift box my little lantern I just added some ribbon this over here I just threw this on here and you can tell it and I don't feel like messing with it I'm <laughs> just being honest y'all I probably needs a bow at the top and maybe string some lights or something some LED lights or some shimmery more bright ribbon I'm gonna see if it gets a little bit lighter and this was actually Buffalo, um, Bethlehem Lights. And I had these so long that they don't work anymore, I don't think. And I was too lazy to really do anything outside. But I don't put these outside anymore. But I had these for like 9 years, 10 years. Because some of these um, little pieces are actually falling off. I don't know what you call that. Weather rot? I'm not sure. And then down here I have a pillow and a crate and a scar from the Dollar Tree I hope you all have a great and wonderful Merry Christmas and take some time to enjoy your family and don't stress over the holidays thanks so much again for watching bye bye guys